Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to the latest demo for the upcoming horror game, The Beast Inside. Last time I played this game was a year and a half ago? I don't know, we've been waiting for it for quite some time, but uh, they sent me an exclusive demo to play, so we're gonna go ahead and check it out. New game. The judge tried to strangle me, and he would have succeeded if it wasn't for the man in the top hat and mask. He killed Judge Norton right in front of me. He cut his throat. It looks like he was trying to save me, but why? Wow, they're really throwing us into the middle of the action here. Where did everyone go? I heard them. Oh, it's happening again. <laughs> the house looks way different than the last demo that I played. Oh, hi. Like father, like son, it is you that should have died. <laughs> Who are you? Oh. It's the man in the top hat. <laughs> We're off to an action-packed start. Kill him. Get him. Ah! Wow. Oh my god. Don't get on this guy's bad side. Wow. Hey, hey. Okay. Okay. He didn't kill me. He's on my side, maybe? Mysterious top hat man? Christ, I can't do it on my own. There's so much blood. Dear God, is this one of the guests? I don't know. C go get someone. He'll bleed to death. Press Are these on the, the ghosts? I'll get help. The janitor is upstairs. Room 207. Where are you? Who is this? Easy. Don't try to get up. Good Lord. No one will ever talk me into a mountain trip again. There he is. Looks like that missing fellow. The detective showed guests his daguerreotype. It's untight. You mean that nosy fop Walter Gilman? Holy mother of God! I have to telegraph the sheriff. No, this man needs a doctor. What? Uh, so many characters. I've seen wounds like this. It's only a matter of minutes. I'm sorry, son. These voices. There are so many of them. Wait. I, I think I've heard this conversation before. Those people, they said that a certain detective, Walter Gilman, looked for the judge. If he was interested in missing people from the area, he might know something about my father's disappearance as well. Maybe at the reception desk I can find out his room number. Get to the reception area. Oh, you mean this? <laughs> okay, here I am. So yeah, the house looks way different than the first demo that I played. Notice board. It's him. Judge John Norton, father's former associate. Is that possible? Sure. I just witnessed a crime from a decade ago? I'm getting lost. Memories and delusions all bleeding into one. Well, you're keeping up a hell of a lot better than I am. A leaflet about the judge. Who was Gilman? Why was he looking for Norton? He didn't trust the sheriff? Let's see, Judge John Norton. Okay, well let's take this. Someone has been looking for him. Walter Gilman. It was the janitor who usually kept the reception keys in room 207. Okay, hang on a second. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's uh, look around a little bit. That one's locked. This uh, hallway is blocked off by some wardrobes that apparently we are too weak to remove. Can't even push them out of the way. Maybe it's time to hit the weight room. All right, let's check this place out. That place is locked. Locked. So, if you didn't see my first playthrough of the first demo that I played, this game is about a man who moves into a home out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, come on. <laughs> You're such an utter weakling. Anyway, he moves into a country home with his wife and then finds out that the house is haunted to no one's surprise. Except his own. Ooh. Hello, lantern man. It was a specter of some kind. So the bar in the lower left corner is my oil. The one that says F next to it. What happened? What? 
I think I missed it. I think all these drawers bust open. And the uh, counter up above it is my number of matches. Luke 817, for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. All right, a page from the Bible. Was it left here by one of the guests? Okay, uh, I'm gonna take this and keep it forever. As I am with every single piece of paper I find, it's going in my pocket until the end of time. And uh, I guess we're just gonna look around for oil and matches. Oh. This one's locked. Precious metals are located in that one. Oil, I'll take that. And knives! <laughs> okay. And we can't get in there. This appears to be a hatch that leads to the basement. I got out of breath saying that. I don't know why. Hey, talking takes a lot of energy, okay? Here's a map. That's where we are. There are stairs to the left. We're looking for room 207, the janitor's room. It's our next destination. Lantern man. We'll follow you in a second. What's this? Letter from Maria. Who is Maria? What was this about? What compensation? For what? Ter Jacob Hyde, you old cheapskate. Man's life ain't worth nothing to you. I ain't asked you for no five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars. I just want a small sum, but you don't want to give me no dime. After what happened to my husband, who gave his life for your sake, I ain't leaving it like that. You got my word, Maria. Wow, hell hath no fury. I will inspect every single drawer. This one contains. A fork and a spoon for dining at the work table. See, now if I were in this situation, I'd pick up this chair right here. I said I'd pick up this chair right here and toss it out the window. But I forgot we're playing as a man who can bench maybe 15 pounds at most. So he's not able to do that. All right. Uh... Let's go up the stairs. Well, first, I want to go in here, though. What is this? Timepiece? Worthless? We don't need to keep track of time in this game. But we got more oil. And we got more matches. Man, they got matches lying around everywhere. I guess it makes sense. There's like a million candles. Hello. God, who is this? What is he doing here? The guy with the lantern? You're obsessed with him, dude. Let it go. He just lives here, okay? All right. So, ooh, 207, I'm right there. Should be right here. Here it is, the door's glowing. Damn, there's a chain. Occupied. <laughs> it's just a chain, dude. Maybe I could use it to cut through the chain. Or, if you possess more than the strength of a child, perhaps you could kick open the door. It's just a little chain. Look at that. Looks nothing. No, but I guess. Yeah, sure. I guess we'll go in there. Get that saw. That sounds like a way better plan. Let's, let's walk around a little bit more, though. Maybe we'll find something cool, like oil. What was that all about? Refilling the lamp. To refill the lamp, open your inventory and look for a bottle of kerosene. Oh, my bad. Okay, I haven't been doing this. Uh, we have to manually do it. I like that sound effect. Sounds like he's drinking it. Which would, uh, be ill-advised. A letter from one of the guests. I can't recall ever doing such a thing. Why would I disturb the guests? I was well aware that if I did something like that, I would get locked up in the dark for days on end. 
Dear Mr. Hyde, my wife and I had hoped that the week we were to spend at your establishment would be as pleasant and soothing an experience as it was advertised in your brochures. Indeed, the forest provides a calming ambiance, and long walks in crisp mountain air are surely beneficial for the health. Unfortunately, this is all the praise I can offer, and I'm only writing it out of a courtesy. Every single night, some deranged brat would haunt the hallways of the inn, running wildly, laughing hysterically, and repeatedly knocking on our door. I tried to scold him multiple times, but he would always manage to run from me or hide somewhere. It was evident that he knew every nook and cranny of the place. The realization came only on the day of our departure, when I saw him entering your office. That little bugger wasn't the... The child said bugger. I was just guessing that this person was British. <laughs> that little bugger wasn't the child of your guests. Left unsu- what, What's happening to the accent? Okay, get back on track. Left unsupervised to pester other visitors. He was- He was your son. If you can't keep your own child in check, then you allow him to ruin your guests' long-awaited vacation. You're surely not fit to run an inn. Rest assured that I will relate this outrageous story to all my acquaintances, and I'm quite a well-known figure in Providence, and that my wife and I will give your inn a wide berth in the future. A.S. Abel. Yeah, A.S. is right. Asshole should be his name. I hope my oil wasn't burning that whole time. Oh, yeah, it wasn't because I had it off. My, my bad? Not really, though. My good. <laughs> no one says my good. But maybe they should. They could. What rhymes with could, should... <laughs> that I haven't already said. I was trying to make a series of rhymes, but apparently I'm terrible at that. Let's take those matches. I haven't used a single one yet. But I might, you know, I'm thinking about it. Alright, let's go in here. Hi, guys. Let's explore. Yeah, this is a disheveled inn for sure. What's this? <gasps> okay, I'm gonna read it, then read the comments. Mining accident. An explosion in the Caroline Mine, Blackstone, New Hampshire, cost lives of three miners. Witnesses claim tremors were felt up to half a mile from the mine and the bang could be heard from inside homes even with the windows closed. The cause of the explosion and whether it could be avoided is yet to be determined. Our reporter has not been able to contact you know when you try to avoid a yawn, and you end up just making it worse? Our reporter has not been able to contact either of the mine's co-owners. George Whitehead was unavailable, while Jacob Hyde, ooh, whose name we've heard before, refused to comment on the accident. We will provide our readers with further details as the story unfolds. Great. Give me this. Not that. I don't want that. No. I don't want the teacup. I obviously want the oil. Why don't you have these up? Not important enough for you? I guess they're not important people. But they're not unimportant enough to just trash. So maybe they're family photos. You know, you put them up when they come to visit, but the rest of the time they're just... You know, sitting in the garage or <laughs> something like that. Ooh! Whoa! What was that? Where did it try to drag me? Downstairs. To hell, maybe? Christ, what have I gotten into? It tried to drag you downstairs, and it succeeded. So, theorizing concluded. She was kind of thirsty, wasn't she? Lady, look, I'm not interested. <laughs> Why do I get to do this for a living? Just say the dumbest... Come on. Give me that. I'm just collecting oil and matches at this point. And you know what? I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. I, I like doing that. Ooh. I'm guessing we need to go in there. It's saving! Guys, it's saving. What does that mean? Oh, the 
should sneak past me, huh? Yeah, let's go ahead and just tip this over. Hello? It's locked. Ooh. So, wait. Where do I go then? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Here we go. Oh, we got the saw. Looks like a slaughter. Good God. Something's wrong here. I'd better grab that tool and get out of here. Yes. Metal cutting saw. A saw like this can be used to cut through all sorts of metal obstacles, such as chains or padlocks. You should cut through the chain in the janitor's room. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. This is an awkward angle. We did it. Wait. Oh, it's still it's still in my inventory. Good. You know, this picture of Abe Lincoln. Excuse me. This picture of Abe Lincoln, I've seen at least like three different times since I started the game. They are some Honest Abe fans in here. It's his honesty, honestly. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Uh, Opal, a magazine for psychiatric paint patients. A magazine created for the patients of a psychiatric hospital. In many such places, patients cannot even dream about such amenities. They get fed pig's wool and tied to their beds. Many don't survive their stay. Okay. You know, I would read the rest of this, but I don't have the patience. Get it? All right. Let's just uh, move on from that. Oh, right. Let's get in here. Apparently we can't kick the door open, so. Oh, you're broke now, huh? Well. I guess we won't be needing that anymore. Huh. Ooh. Oil. There's a lot of oil in the game, and I I thank them for that. I'm I'm way overloaded on it. I wanna have my lantern out at all times. Honestly, I think the people that will blaze through this game just running from point A to point B and not picking up oil, I think they should be punished. They should be punished by having the lights go out. He spent most of his life here, and after death, he's still the inn's janitor. But now for eternity. What you got there, buddy? The guests, from what I can see, are sure to cause trouble. Oh, a key. See, so it can be used to access room 106. Ooh. Excuse me. Whoa. Okay, someone's a little sensitive tonight. The janitor's notes. I feel sorry for that poor wretch. He took to drinking to keep himself sane. I'm afraid I might end up like him if those ghosts don't leave me alone. Mr. Jacob keeps telling me to lay off the bottle. <laughs> he says I'm seeing things, but I swear that it's all real. I drink because I'm afraid. Something lurks in these forests. I've heard some inhuman screams in the trees and howling in the caves. I've seen claw marks on the bark. Mr. Jacob says, Calm down, you drunkard! You'll scare away the guests! What if they should be afraid? How many people have gone to the forest and never come back? My God, I can hear this howling again. I won't find any rest tonight if I don't take a swig or two. And now he's dead. He wrote that and then he died. Think about the last tweet you sent. Do you want those to be your last publicized words after your death? Huh? Basically, what I'm saying is, make sure your tweets are funny, at least. <laughs> Alright. Don't waste the rest of our time. I feel like my time was wasted by his woe is me post. Hmm. Oh, come on. Ah, an insurmountable obstacle! Okay. Oh, come on. No, just pick it up. Just tip it. Okay, I'm guessing we don't go this way. We go maybe out. Oh, I pushed the I pushed the lower drawer closed. That's what happened. 
Anyway. Here we go. There's another picture of Honest Abe. He's got quite the fandom out here. Bunch of Lincoln stands. They were probably heartbroken when he was assassinated. Spoiler alert. You know, if it were me, I'd just, I'd just hop off here, I think. But it's not. So. So, the key doesn't go to this door, I guess. I guess it's the wind doing that. All right, so we go back. What did this happen? Oh. I even knew I was about to say, Is this a ghost? Or did, did I completely lose my mind? I was, I was literally turning around to say, I bet when I pick these keys up, something's gonna be behind me. But instead, something was behind me before I picked up the keys. So that was a nice surprise. And by nice surprise, I mean total bullshit. Bullshit move, guys. That was, that was nice though. A little bit of subversion. Intentional or not. Do not open. Uh, well, but I've got both keys, so I'm gonna open it. What's this though? Note with password. Looks like the janitor had a serious problem with one of his guests. That fucking weirdo wanted to blow me up. I managed to subdue the bastard and lock him up in one of the rooms. May God watch over you if you ever need to enter the B-Wing. The combination of the padlock is anger. Yeah, you're making me angry right now. Wait, is that really the password? Oh, oops. I mean, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Oh yeah. Yeah, listen here. You know what? Wait a second. Oh, we gotta crouch through it. So... 201 through 206 are over here. Get to the B-Wing. Well, we've got there. Now what? Now what? Huh? What you got for me? You give me some jump scares? I've ate them. I've eaten them. Get out of my way. I need these matches. I'm collecting them. I'm seeing how many I can get before the end of the video. These are locked? Huh? Hmm. Do I have a set of keys I can use? Oh! Oh. Uh, that's what this was for. Oh! You know, I don't know if I wanna go in here, actually. Should we? This must be what that disturbed janitor was writing about. It's like he died a long time ago. Uh-oh, it's the scissor man, guys. We found his weapon of choice. A soldier's letter. Okay. This is from James Wilkes Booth, I assume. John, everything went as planned. Yes, my dearest brother, we have reached the finale of our masterpiece. I have managed to procure a uniform from a Union soldier and get all the way to the northern reaches of Massachusetts. On my way, I have slaughtered three traitors of our sweet land. gonna skip that next line. I must have gotten lost in the local woods, though, and instead of Lowell, I have found myself in some back woods. Thankfully, God has guided me to find an abandoned inn where I am making final preparations while saying my prayers. You know what that means. Yes, God is on our side, brother. He, too, wants our work to come to fruition. So the days of Abraham Lincoln and his cursed followers are numbered. So, this is John Wilkes Booth brother. I hope you have made it safely to Montreal. I trust God protects you the way he protects me. God bless the Confederacy. God bless Jefferson Davis. So, the Union uniform is just a disguise. It's all 
getting more and more mysterious. Sure. Hey, I think we should take this as a weapon. Personally. Well, who made this hole? Or what made this hole? You know? Oh, yeah. More matches for my collection. I thought I heard footsteps just now. Take one of these butter knives, man. At least you'll have something, you know? What is all... These damn roots again. They seem too tough for me just to break them. I can't deal with it with my bare hands. I need some kind of sharp tool. How did you make it through life up to this point? I'm just wondering. All right, you know what? We don't need to... Ooh. <laughs> I was about to say, we don't need to look for oil and matches. We've already got tons of them. All right, we got to find a tool. So let's... Couldn't just get up and walk away. There he is. Let me go. Help! Oh no, Help! it's a bomb. I will leave you of your life, you Yankee bastard. You can't stop the assassination. We can not pay for I'm clicking. <laughs> Take that, James Wilkes Booth. <laughs> yeah. Quick time events. Are you gonna you're gonna stick the bomb inside him and then duck for cover? Wow, that's hardcore. Can do all I can't that. Believe it. This isn't happening. He can do all that, but uh, he's thwarted by a cabinet in the way. A pair of shears with rusty blades. Despite the passage of time, they can come in handy. Oh, you don't gotta tell me. Let's go ahead and cut some roots up. Make some trees mad. Uh. Oh, there we go. Okay. You gotta pinch him. It's kind of a unique interaction to have to do this. Uh. You know, maybe I shouldn't be doing this, actually. Something seemed like it was, uh, banging to get in here. But maybe it was just the wind, you know? Nice try, okay? Man, cabinets are our... ...worthiest foes in this game. They obstruct our way? They jump scare us? Search George's office. Alright, man, I'll... I'll do my best. Oh, right. The lock picking. Using the mouse, place the lock pick under one of the cylinders, move up and down to raise the cylinder. When the cylinder crosses the cut line, block it quickly using the left mouse button. Okay. I forgot about this. Okay, wait. Okay, I heard footsteps again. I did it! Maybe we don't go in there just yet, though. Maybe we, maybe we hang out outside here for a second. What's this? Oh no. Something's gonna come out of there. Maybe we close these doors? No, we need them open so we have an escape route. That's using You were supposed noggin. to check every possibility, Norton. You're a judge, and you should know how to bend the law without breaking it. The contract states you can both hand over your shares without each other's consent. I'm sorry, George, but you signed it yourself. I never thought that bastard would try to outwit me, and that his demented spawn would sneak into the mine. What do you expect? The brat cannot inherit. We have to persuade that old fart somehow, or we'll end up with nothing. Uh. That really happened? Did they plot against my father and me? 
I gotta say, maybe it's because I'm cracking wise the whole time, but I'm not sure I understand the story fully. Ooh, set of keys. All I have to do is go back to the reception desk and find Gilman in the guest registry. No, no, I didn't want to pick up the boric acid. <laughs> is that what that was? Boric acid? Speaking of Kraken Wise, I know some people think that I, I am too sarcastic when I'm playing and that's somehow being disrespectful to the game, but I mean no disrespect. I'm just trying to be entertaining. It's my job. Thanks. First, newspaper clipping. Rotate to find hidden message. Cruel murder! Okay. Blackstone, Monday, September 11th. The sheriff issued an arrest, wait, September 13th. That's the day I'm recording this. <gasps> oh my gosh. Uh, the sheriff issued an arrest warrant for Jacob Hyde, a mine and inn owner. Hyde is accused of murdering Judge John Norton, who badly wounded, passed away upon arrival at the inn. A $500 reward is being offered. Only 500? That was a lot back then. A lot more than today. Photo at the mine. My father and his partner a few days after opening their pyrite mine. You can mine pyrite? Isn't it worthless? I'm just curious. Because I thought, you know, pyrite is uh, fool's gold. For those who don't know. All you non-geologists over there. You might not know. Pyrite is fool's gold. Uh... But I, I was under the impression it wasn't worth anything. Is it still, like, if you mine enough of it, is it? Uh. Will you open up? Okay, let's go. To get out from here before he gets me. He. Let's go that way. Go! Go, you idiot. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Uh... Okay. Oh my god, it's here. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Well, that's checkpoint. I didn't... Uh, I didn't see where to go. I thought that it was just blocked over there. So is she trying to warn me? Oh no, she's coming after me too. Kind of hobbling along, isn't she? I need to get out from here before he gets me. He. Come on. I do like the soundtrack here. It's really cool. It kind of reminds me of uh, Outlast 2. The early parts of Outlast 2 when you're running from uh, the woman. Whoa! Auto save. Are we good? I assume we can go back. Cause we got that key now, so we can enter reception. Yeah. Was that hole there when I walked in earlier? Oh wait, oh. Oh, now you can tip what? it over. Renewed strength, it would seem. Now we can take it to our current situation with renewed vigor. What? What was I supposed to have seen? Oh, I wanted to see it. Can't believe I missed those matches. Let me in here. Which room did the detective stay in? I don't know, but let's just take the only key available. The detective was staying in room. Jesus. The key for room 203 is missing. Maybe. Maybe I can get there from room 202. I'm sure you can. I must find out how much Gilman knew. I'm sure there's like a hole in the wall or something. Okay, why are we doing this? Let's not, let's just go. You know what? We've seen some action.
Okay. Uh, we've seen some action. We want to keep the pace up. No more looking for oil. I've already got... Wow, look at my diary scroll. I've already got 15 kerosene and 49 matches. I think we're good on light. So let's just keep moving for now. Let me in. You know, during that chase, there was like a note that I could read. And I'm sad that I didn't get to read it. Quickly, I need to hide. Oh. Hello. <laughs> easily get to the next room. Easily. I need to know how much he has found out. If I get to room 202, I can easily get to the next room. Okay. Will he see me from here? The answer is no. But if he turns around here, will he see me? The answer is no. Because he's a stupid idiot. Um... There he is. Hello. I know there's some oil there, but I'm just gonna skip out on it for now. Wait, was I not supposed to go this way? Oh no, I think I just screwed myself. I think I'm supposed to get behind him here. Maybe I should have checked that map. Okay. Duly noted. Let me see this. So, I'm right here. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, so that was the wrong way. All right, walk back. Good. Now, stay there for a second, and then turn around, go back the other way that you came. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Maybe he'll lose interest. <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, should I be crouching here? I don't know if I should be crouching. But then I didn't know if like, if you stood up and started walking, if he'd be like, I hear that and come running. So I just kept crouching. Should have known that his sense of sight was much more threatening than his hearing. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that'll keep you out of here. Okay. Do I go out here? Oh, probably, because this is room 203, right? We don't want to be here. Let's go to room 203. Let's go. Oh. I've done it. Room 203. This is where... Gilman! Open the door! We need to talk, just you and me. Greetings, Mr. Hyde. Cut the pleasantries. I know what you're up to. I don't really oh. know why you're so upset. I really... You aren't the only hack who thought he could sniff out a scoop. But I'm not looking for a scoop. I just want to sort this out. There's something unsettling going on in this charming little corner of the world. So many people have gone missing, including your friend, Judge John Norton. I want to find him. Please. That's my sole motivation. You can shove him up your ass! You want to prove I'm responsible for his vanishing, because you're just desperately looking for a story that will get you publicity. Yeah. The word publicity sounds strange, coming from someone specializing in sweeping things under the rug. Two years have passed since the incident in the mine, and many things still remain unclear. People lost their lives. Many others have gone missing since, and you act like it was just a minor incident. It was an accident. 
A tragic accident that cost the lives of my employees and ruined my business. That's all. Oh, I'm afraid that's not all. Ever since then, people have gone missing in the area. Many people, even guests of this establishment. Enough! I want you out of my inn by tomorrow. You hear me? Yeah, you're just oh, desperate. Detective left something here. Well, he left a story at least. Hmm. The disappearances started right after the accident at the mine. I'm aware that the neighborhood isn't very safe with all the forests, mountains, swamps, caves, and whatnot, but I don't believe that it's all a coincidence. I also find it hard to believe that the explosion was a mere accident, even though Jacob's version was confirmed by the investigating officers. One of the locals told me that right before the explosion, Hyde had brought several barrels of gunpowder to his lot. I'm going to go to the mine and check the shaft for evidence that Hyde could have left there. The sheriff may have overlooked something. Or he might have been bribed. Maybe that will shed some light on the disappearances. During his investigation on the missing judge, the detective discovered that people had been disappearing for a long time in these parts. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, I, I read the, the note. Went to the mine that day. Nobody knows if he ever came back. I must retrace his steps. There Mu may still must be we? traces of what happened back then. I vaguely remember the accident, but gunpowder barrels, missing people. Happened here. My father was a cruel man, I can't deny that. But would he be capable of killing in cold blood? I guess I'll have to go down into the mine. Great. 50 matches. That's just great. It's locked. I should look for another exit in this room. Alright, way out of you, buddy. I already found it. Try to keep up. Oh. You think that guy's still out here? Or? <gasps> this can't be real. Red means scary, guys. Uh oh. Trump the lantern. Ooh. I must have lost my mind. Look at him. He's waiting right there. Hi! Wait, was he thwarted? Oh, I was expecting him to start hacking through there after me, but he's just standing there instead. Is it, is it only in my head? I don't know. Probably. Hopefully not, though. That's a lot of blood. Auto saved. Why is it auto saving? I know where we are. We're on the first I floor. I'm going mad. Here we go. Here's the reception. What's happening over there? Uh oh. Uh oh. Good. Oh, what? Let's do this. Let's go, let's go! Code red, code red, literally! We did it, we did it. Oh, oh, not yet, not yet. My mistake, celebrated too early. Oh, 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 okay. Get me away from these guys. How come there's so many of them? Keep going! Don't stop! Don't stop! I have to run. I, we are running! Oh! We are running, dude! A 
Okay. Time to run. Nope, that's not wrong, 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 wrong way. <laughs> I thought you, I thought you were supposed to go straight there. Okay, we're back. Starting to crumble. There we go. How is he still chasing me? There's no bridge back there. No, not there. Oh. <laughs> Keep going, keep going. Man, take a hint. Don't you need a breather or something? What? Where? It's like the juggernaut. He never stops. Well, I don't either. Yeah, let's go into this tunnel. That seems like the best plan. I was just, I was just getting into it. Thank you for playing beta version of the Beast Inside. Don't forget to add the game to your wish list and find us on social media. If you want to add to your Steam wish list, there'll be a link in the description. Uh, so I was liking that more and more as it went along. Uh, some Outlast inspired parts. In my opinion, there's not enough horror games like Outlast. So that's promising to me. I do kind of like the more energized pacing in games like that so uh, at first I wasn't really sure what to think you know a lot of ring notes watching the ghosts have conversation is like not my favorite form of uh, story presentation but I'll deal with it I I feel like um, this demo probably takes place like a good portion into the game it, it would seem because uh, I wasn't really following along too well with things. Maybe I would if I had more of context, you know, from the beginning to that point. So, uh, I know that the release date for this game has been announced, but I don't know when that is. I want to say it's next month or something, but it might be next year. But you can find out more information uh, by looking up the game or clicking the link in the description. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this. I think it's got good production quality and that's something to be said for horror games. There's, anytime there's a horror game that comes out with uh, higher than average production quality, it's it's worth checking out just to see what they did with it. So yeah, I like that chase sequence towards the end. It kind of got the heart pumping a little bit because I am so done with horror games that take an overly passive approach to the gameplay. You know, I. This game does have a lot of notes and it has a lot of uh, story absorbing sequences, but there is some action as well, so I like that about it. Looking forward to The Beast Inside. Check it out in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video. But let me know what you thought too in the comments. Think critically.